Well, restaurants in downtown Tallahassee have started to change the way you can make a reservation with them. Some of them are requesting a deposit up front. ABC 27's Jada Williams joins us live in downtown to explain the reason behind the new change. Restaurants like Saver behind me are now making a change saying that people would make a reservation and not show up, causing them to lose out on money. For some Tallahassee restaurants, making a reservation is about to look different. Over the past couple of years, we've noticed that on the larger weekends, whether it's football or graduation, we have a lot of people playing the reservation game where they'll make reservations not only at our restaurant, but a couple of others. And then when they all get together, they group think and decide where they want to go and they fail to cancel the reservations they had elsewhere. And Drew McLeod owns Saver. He says to combat the cancellations, he's implementing a $25 deposit for reservations of five or more. Anyone who cancels within 24 hours of the reservation has to pay $25 per person. It creates chaos and we can't get people in that would have wanted to be here. McLeod says Saver had 128 cancellations last Saturday. Although he was able to fill some seats, that many broken reservations equals $6,000 in revenue and more than $1,000 in tips for his staff. Just across the street, Illuso is implementing a similar policy, charging $25 per guest who cancels a reservation the day of a busy weekend. The restaurant reports from the per person average of last Saturday alone, Illuso and its sister restaurant Sage could have lost $30,000 if not for walk-ins. Then there's the restaurants that typically see more foot traffic like Railroad Square Craft House, saying canceled reservations aren't a problem. Now those business owners say that this problem isn't necessarily because of the locals, but more so people coming in from out of town. As a matter of fact, McLeod tells me that this year alone the locals have supported him so much that it's been one of his best years to date. Reporting live from outside of Saver, Jada Williams, ABC 27.